Is it more efficient to drive with FSD engaged or to drive manually? I'm going to test it out over the next two days on my morning commute and let you know. I would think that the car would know how to drive itself more efficiently than I can. So this morning, for the first uh, day one, I'm going to drive it with FSD engaged. I've got two days that have identical weather forecasts, so the temperature should be just about right. Uh, so today I'm going to have full self-drive or FSD engaged. And then uh, tomorrow I won't use it at all, follow the same exact route at uh, roughly the same time of day, and it should be about the same temperature. So uh, that should give us an even comparison. I'm going to be paying attention to the miles of projected range and the average efficiency uh, displayed by the car in watt hours per mile. So let me show you where we're at. We have 100% state of charge with projected range of 257 miles and the trip card is zeroed out since the charge. So now we're going to begin our commute on day number one and I will update you with the stats once I get to the end of my commute. just about to work at the end of day one. So let's take a look at the stats and see how FSD did in terms of efficiency. We have 234 miles of predicted range, 91% state of charge. It is currently 73 degrees Fahrenheit. We are looking at 27 miles, which I know, uh, 51 minute drive, uh, five kilowatt hours of energy used, and an average efficiency of 198 watt hours per mile. So that was a pretty efficient drive, uh, but it's pretty much in line with what, uh, what we normally do. So we'll do this same test tomorrow, which you'll see in just a second. And it's the start of day number two. Uh, today, I'm going to handle all of the driving. I'm not going to engage FSD at all, and I'm gonna see if I can get close to the efficiency numbers from yesterday. So uh, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and, and start off with a review of the stats. We're at a 100% state of charge, showing 257 miles of projected range, just like yesterday. Everything on the trip card is zeroed out. It's, the car is showing that it's currently 74 degrees. My watch says it's 73, which is the temperature it was when I got to work yesterday. I'm going to follow the exact same route, except I'm not going to have FSD engaged, and I'll give you the full report here in just a little bit. Here we are again, a uh, gas station near where I work, and I'm going to uh, read off the stats. Now I'm gonna remind you about yesterday. Uh, yesterday we started with 257 miles of projected range. By the time I got to this point, I was down to 234 miles of projected range after having driven 27 miles using five kilowatt hours of energy. Uh, it took me 51 minutes yesterday and it was 73 degrees Fahrenheit. My average efficiency was 198 watt hours per mile, which works out to 5.05 .05 miles per kilowatt hour. 
With that said, let's see how I did with me driving uh, compared to FSD. Before I get to that, I did not engage FSD once today. I drove normally. I did not try to maximize any kind of efficiency. I drove the way that I normally would. Um, and I followed the exact same route. So let's look at the stats. So we're at 90% state of charge compared to 91% yesterday. We have 231 miles of projected range remaining compared to 234 yesterday. Uh, it is 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and at this time it was 73. Uh, the drive is 45 minutes. That's going to be the biggest difference. Uh, it was 51 yesterday, and I guess that's I just had better traffic. Same 27 miles, the same 5 kilowatt hours of energy used, and the average efficiency is 201 watt hours per mile, which calculates to 4.98. Uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So am I a more efficient driver than the car is with FSD engaged? No, I'm not, but I'm pretty close. The main difference in efficiency was three watt hours per mile over the 27 mile drive. Uh, that's not much. Uh, let's see, five to eight hundredths of a mile, eight hundredths of a mile per kilowatt hour uh, difference in efficiency. Um, but three miles is the difference in projected range by the time I got here. So yes, FSD is more efficient than driving manually. I would, ex I would fully expect that. Uh, for decades, we've known that cruise control on your car is going to get you better fuel mileage uh, than you driving without cruise control. And with FSD, I don't have the option of traffic aware cruise control. A uh, single pull activates FSD. So I was just trying to modulate the, the accelerator as best as I could. Uh, but I could not match, but I came very, very close. Uh, my conclusion is that the difference is negligible. FSD is more efficient but not by much, really. So if you found this video informative, please give us a like. Uh, put something down in the comments of anything else that you'd like me to um, test out on FSD if I still have the trial by the time this video goes up. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more content.